The people who are most likely to sign Oprah's no phone zone pledge, right? Let's talk about that. That's a whole brain decision. So if somebody is so obsessed with making deals on the phone and getting it done and all they care about is making deals and getting it done, they're going to convince themselves they need to be on the phone all the time. And that's going to be, whether it's hands-free or not, they're going to be on the phone. And they may be tempted to take really big chances. The very right brain person, so the upper right brain person who's the visionary doesn't want to be told what to do. They do not want to be told what to do. They want autonomy and they want freedom. Well, that's someone who doesn't obey the laws. So even though we've had a law in California for two years, I think, that you uh, can only use a cell phone hands-free, you've got a lot of upper right brain people, and I know some of them, and they're still talking to me on the phone, and they don't have, you know, they don't have a hands-free device. And of course, we can say what we want to say to motivate them, and it's hard. And then the lower right brain person really wants to connect, always has to stay connected. They get in the car, they have to talk to their friends, they have to talk to their family, and they are going to want to be on the phone. So it's only that whole brain thinker who's likely to make this decision, and it's a very important decision. And of course, thank goodness enough people love Oprah, so a lot of people are making the decision from that lower right brain, from that affectionate point of view. But what we want to say is we don't want you to just take the, the pledge. What's the, that's not it. We, we want you to understand why what Oprah has done is so valuable and why you would want to do that, why you'd want to follow through. It's absolutely crucial. So that's next for you. Okay. Absolutely, Good. yes. Good. And everybody, why not? Because it's really important. We have enough evidence we'll talk about tonight why it's really crucial to do one thing at a time. For people to really understand the danger and make an informed decision. An informed decision is a, is a that means whole brain thinking. So if you're going to make an informed decision, it's because you've used your upper brain, you've got the facts and the figures about being distracted. You've got the upper right brain, the visionary brain, so you get the idea of what it's like if you're driving and not on the phone. And you get the idea of what it's like when you're driving, you know, and you're just thinking about a thousand things and talking to a thousand people. So you get, the, you get the difference. Lower right brain, you know how you feel when you're peaceful. You know how that feels in your body when you're peaceful and you're not trying to multitask. And when you have all these awarenesses, eventually you will, boom, make the safest decision, best decision. Very good. Okay, that's that's definitely the direction I want to be in going. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> and at your speed, you better. <laughs> I know oh you're my. a good driver. I know you're a good driver, but still. <laughs>